into the evolution of the market economy. I was just hoping you might give me some insight into the evolution of the market economy in the southern colonies. My contention is that uh, prior to the Revolutionary War, the economic modalities, especially in the southern colonies, could most aptly be characterized as agrarian free capital. Right. Of course that's a good I know, a first year grad student. You just got finished reading some Moxie and Storing, the Garrison problem. You're going to be convinced of that until next month when you get to James Lemon. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to be talking about how the economies of Virginia and Pennsylvania were entrepreneurial and capitalist way back in 1740. That's going to last until next year. You're going to be in here regurgitating Gordon Wood. Talking about, you know, the pre-revolutionary utopia and the capital forming effects of military mobilization. As a matter of fact, there won't because Wood drastically underestimates the impact of social Wood drastically underestimates the impact of social distinctions predicated upon wealth, especially inherited wealth. You got that from Pickens. Working in Essex County, page 98, right? Yeah, I read that too. Are you going to plagiarize the whole thing for us? Do you have any thoughts of what we're on this matter? But you, is that your thing? You come to a body, you read some obscure passage, and then pretend you can pawn it off as your own. Is your own ideas to impress some girls? Embarrass my friend? See, the sad thing about a guy like you is in 50 years, you're going to start doing some thinking on your own, and you're going to come up with the fact that there are two certainties in life. One, don't do that. And two, you dropped 150 grand in the education you could have got for a dollar fifty in late taxes at the public library. <laughs>